All right, so some real simple questions to get us started. Um, give us your name, your position, your company's name, and what it is that you guys do. Yeah, David Zingery, uh, CEO of Midmo AI. And we're on a mission to simplify traceability. It's a good way to kind of open up the call. So far, you've got an A. You yeah. got all of those good. questions right. Good, nail them. <laughs> David, tell me, you know, supply chain industry riddled with ups and downs, challenges, disruptions. Yeah. How are you all handling that? Or some of the biggest ones that you are facing or your customers are facing? Well, Can you tell us about Yeah, no, it's great. It's kind of a theme this year that, you know, whether it happened out of response to like the pandemic or just a lot of the mandates in the, in the industry, a lot of customers and partners had to like go and invest in uh, kind of edge infrastructure mm -hmm. and they had to reactively kind of select like uh, software partners to cool. kind of meet those. You know, they want to know where their stuff's at and there's some resilient issues, very big. So from a software vantage point, that's where we've come in and we've been very effective in helping them optimize those reactive decisions. And we've instilled a new infrastructure from a software vantage point that's more middleware, more focused on edge connectivity from a universal standpoint that allows them to do a lot more with the things that they had to reactively purchase. So identification and optimization are really a sweet spot for us. And since we connect to the just a universe of edge technologies, we kind of transcend a lot of the politics or a lot of the shortcomings of other you know, software offerings in the space. What about adoption? When it comes to technology, right? You know, we have these beautiful technologies that exist, so many amazing things. But how do we really get these organizations to really push it on through, get their teams to adopt it, understand why it's important to them, how they're going to use it? I mean, do you all consider those things? Think about those things? How do you, how does that play into what you do? Well, I mean, the the rate of innovation is speeding up. It's right. accelerating. But so there's a lot of kind of, you know, we talk a lot about AIDC and we want to be that connector across that AID spa AIDC space. That's why we position our company to be primarily partner directed, partner led. So we can kind of transcend those different kind of, we talked about those, um, those silos or those politics and leverage the types of technologies that have traditionally been experimented with. You know, like RFID is a hot topic for us for, yeah. there's a lot of evolving mandates in uh, retail and, uh, I mean, pharmaceutical or food traceability, um, you know, that, that food market's kind of a big one. We've built a core that enables that end customer or those partners to productize on top of that traceability core. So we've done kind of the hard part, the blocking, tackling, and then we enable them a fast path to connect and a fast path to kind of extend those from a light, like middleware yeah. edge point. So like the technologies that they've had, like they tested, experimented, they can still enhance those with our attributes for with our edge technologies. And then they can do a lot more because our, our platform is designed to be very headless from an item treatment standpoint. And you know, from a connectivity standpoint, we enable a lot of operational and supply chain, you know, use cases that maybe historically they've had to partner and you know, because of the offering of that uh, specific software company, they can only, you know, they're productized to, to, you know, attack one use case maybe at a time and then extend where we are able to check the box kind of across the board. And those Streamlining. Supply chains. Yeah. yeah. Streamlining. A lot of op optimization, a lot of kind of enablement and accelerating of those initiatives. So, yeah. Sounds like you're a busy man. Very busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when, when you're not busy, and you could have a coffee with anybody in the world, alive or dead. Not, or not him. Not, not him. You know. Certainly not you. Definitely not. Um, who would it be and why, David? You know, I, you know, I was talking to a PR firm earlier, and they were telling me anything I can associate with Donald Trump. Yeah. And yeah, whether it's tariffs or yeah. you know, kind of. So I, I think there is a conversation there currently. Timing, you know, we're going through a seed raise right now, so right. like that's a hot topic. We want to get as many eyeballs, which is really the main reason we're here is to you know engage with some of these venture capital groups. Right. But I think that's a hot button I would push because I mean, there's some there's some real interesting learnings there, and and he's so tightly I think connected with some of the interviews with Zuck and uh, you see Elon Musk, like there's just such a charged yeah. kind of conversation to be had there. So why not? We'd have okay. to get Diet Coke. I don't think he drinks coffee. Uh, that's right. But that's all right. Well, Diet Coke. But well, look, David, thank you great, so much. Great. I appreciate thank it, man. It was a pleasure to chat yeah. with you. Thank you. Thanks with so you. much. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. Your time. Appreciate it.